shouldn't have come down here. You've awoken the curse. Could the curse go back to bed? I can foresee a new prophecy. Your death. Have another look. Are you sure? Maybe it's my new friend's death. Get out of there now. You reckon? Run. Okay, time to run. Welcome to the Time Travel Institute, the forefront of scientific revolution. You are here to extract a criminal element, a rogue time traveler, once a decorated innovator. They are somewhere, changing history, all being sustained by the paradox machine. Okay, buds, you heard the robotic voice. It's time to go to the time machine. We are here to find a rogue time traveler and criminal element. Well, this is a bit exciting for me, and I don't know if this is a surprise to you, but I have actually never been time traveling before. I know, little first for me. Bit fun. I will be in your ear along the way. You may refer to me as C. Nice to meet you, C. My name is Holly. Welcome to the time ship. I am tracking the rogue's location. We could end up anywhere in all time and space. Are you ready? I mean, maybe I'll do a quick wee before we leave. Oh, we're leaving. Okay, never mind. That's cool. I can pee in time and space, right? Oh my gosh, we're going to a wormhole. <gasps> the North Pole, 1909? We're in 1909. This is where the geographic North Pole was first identified by American explorer Robert Peary. Oh my gosh, we're on the North Pole. Okay, time to greet Robert Peary. I have a feeling he's going to be pretty surprised to see me. Um, there's like not a whole lot of foot traffic up here at the North Pole. And okay, we just got to jump over a few ice flows um, to find the explorer. And I wonder if Robert has seen this rogue time traveler. Like, have they been to the North Pole before? What could they possibly be doing here? And what do they want? The robot voice said that the person we're looking for is a scientist and renowned innovator. So, I don't know. They might know something that we don't. We gotta find them. <gasps> oh, here's Robert. Oh, he's got his paddle. <laughs> How strange. I appear not to be the first here. Oh, I think he saw me. I say, penguins at the North Pole. Ah, they're so cute. Be on the lookout, team. Why? Something's wrong here. If this is wrong, I don't want to be right. What's that noise? Get back. Careful, Robert. They might attack. Uh -oh. oh my gosh! They fell through! What is that? <gasps> Robert? Follow him. What? Follow him into the hole in the ice floe? This seems dangerous, but okay! <laughs> Whoa, this is unexpected. Okay, it's not just a hole in an iceberg, it's a crystal cave? What is this place? Robert! Robert, where are you? Um, penguins! Penguins that seem suspiciously far from home, where are you? How do we think that the penguins got from the South Pole to the North Pole? Like, did they swim the whole way? Did they take a boat? Maybe they've got some frequent flyer miles that they wanted to use up. Whatever the reason, I gotta agree with the robot voice. It is a little bit suspicious that there were four penguins at the North Pole when they are totally not a native species to this area. It's like something strange has gotta be going on there. Here's something really cool that I want to tell you. Um, where I live in Australia, there are fairy penguins, which are teeny tiny penguins. They only grow 30 centimeters tall, which is the size of a ruler. And they are the cutest things I have ever seen in my entire life. Um, if you've ever seen a penguin in real life, um, leave a penguin emoji in the comment section. I'll go first. I have never seen big penguins, but I have seen teeny, teeny, tiny fairy penguins. So I will be leaving a penguin emoji. Tell me if you have seen fairy penguins or if you have seen big boy penguins. Both are cute. We love every single penguin, except for evil penguins that might be trying to trick me and my new friend Robert, famous explorer. Oh, what is this? <gasps> it's the penguins. What are they doing? What is this place? What kind of witchcraft is this? Okay, Robert thinks the penguins are witches. They're robots. What? The rogue have been here. Robot penguins? Be very quiet. Shh. Don't wake them. Do robots sleep? Quick, they're starting up again. <gasps> Try deactivating them. What? How do you do that? Is there like a button on the back of their head? Ooh, repeat the given sequence to disarm the pengbots. Okay, um, I guess I can try to do that. This is a really weird way to turn off a robotic penguin. <gasps> try again. So sorry, I wasn't paying attention. It was fishy, wasn't it? Fishy, there we go. Okay, give it to me again. Oh, is it fishy then rat? Fishy rat? Cool. All right, we're good. We're good. Okay, we are disarming these pengbots. Do we have to do this for every single pengbot? I love this system, though. 
Pretty cool. Here at Kawaii Unicorn, we're all about providing you with useful information. And um, if you ever come up against a robotic penguin in real life, particularly one that's out of place, you know, it's in the North Pole, it's supposed to be in the South Pole, um, you know, you're gonna wanna know how to disarm them. And that's what we're all about here. You did it. I did it! Yes! Okay, and what's that noise and. Oh. I think you may see stable ice the lair. Oh. I'll teleport you back. Thank you. Okay. Quick, please. Click. That was a close one. It really was. The road is fast, but we're catching up. Let's see where his path takes us next. Should we have a cup of tea with Robert before we leave? Or okay, maybe we'll just head back into space. That's fine. Space and time. We love it. I didn't want a cup of tea anyway. I wanted to go into the wormhole to ancient Egypt. We're now in the year 539 in ancient Egypt. Wow. Something looks wrong here. Looks wrong? What is it? I suspect the rogue has interfered with history. Oh, yep. I see it. <laughs> um, I think the rogue traveler might have made a few changes. Why is there a salon and an airline? What the? This is... Since when did ancient Egypt have street lamps? Ooh, good this point. technology doesn't belong here. <gasps> Um, this is not just a small change. This could change the entire course of history. <gasps> oh, I'm getting a message. It says, Holly, you need to find all the fragment pieces scattered around the city. I've marked them in green. Follow the arrow on screen. Okay, um, I mean, I guess I can do that, but who is asking me this question? Is it my, is it my robot friend voice? Is it the rogue traveler? Is it a voice from within? Um, but I mean, that's cool. I guess I will try to discover the fragments. There might be a fragment over here somewhere. Wow, I'm really discovering the city. Oh, oh, there it is. I see it. But how do I get to it? Hmm, maybe I can get up here. Jump. Yes. Oh my gosh, I see other fragments scattered throughout the city. This is actually a really nice way to explore the city. It's pretty strange though, because like it's a massive city and there is literally nobody around. Like I have not seen a single soul since I arrived. What's really confusing to me is the rogue time traveler, like they're a scientist, an innovator, like they have a really good understanding of time travel and what its potential consequences would be. Like what possible reason could they have for introducing futuristic technology to ancient Egypt? Like none of it makes any sense. Team, I'm detecting a strange signal towards the pyramid. Oh my gosh, strange signals are actually one of my hobbies. Definitely gonna have to check out the pyramid. I wanted to check out the pyramid before I left anyway, because you know, it's not every day that you get to go to ancient Egypt in the year 539 or whatever. Um, so yeah, was not going to leave without checking out the pyramids. And now that I know that there's a strange signal, like cannot resist. Cool, cool, all right. Strange signal feels like it's coming from this direction. Yep, it's got a bit of a magnetic pull. I just can't help but, oh, I think I see someone up there. Who could it be? Is it our rogue traveler? Identify yourself. You must help me. What's wrong? I'm stuck between this life and the next. Is that why you've got no face? Find the cabinet of souls. Sounds creepy. It will release me. Hmm. The rogues displace the natural order of the universe. Help the boy king. Yeah, that guy with no face. Be safe. Traps and curses loom ahead of you. Okay, thanks boy king. The cabinet of souls is an all knowing extraterrestrial artifact that went missing from the Institute's collection many years ago. Oh my gosh, what is it doing here? That is a mystery. I wonder what's behind those doors. Yeah, me too. Cabinet of Souls or more robot penguins? Uh, okay, no robot penguins, but okay, this could be a map to the Cabinet of Souls? Okay, well, I mean, it looks a little bit tricky, and I'm not... Oh my gosh, okay, that's a bit scary. The cabinet has the ability to wait for souls of the recently departed. That's it now. Only it can restore the boy king to the afterlife. Find it. Well, I really do hate the idea of anyone being trapped between worlds, so I guess we do have to find this cabinet of souls somehow. Just take a look here at my little mappy, and okay. Okay. Maybe I can navigate the whole way like this by hitting a wall. <laughs> Now, earlier, when you mentioned the souls of the recently departed, they're not gonna come out anywhere here, are they? Like, I'm not gonna start seeing ghosties. Am I? Because I'm just trying to help out a boy king here. I don't want to, you know, be starting any beef with any ancient Egyptian ghosties. It's not really my style. I just want to come in, 
find the cabinet of souls and head home or back to space and time, whatever. Um, you know, we've still got a rogue criminal element to find and looks like he's been causing problems all over the universe um, and in many different time zones. Oh, this looks like it's promising. Great, you found the key. Yes. Let's get back to the door. All right, cool. All right, I found one of looks like three keys that I might need in order to complete this little challenge. Oh, wow, I can run. <laughs> this makes things a little bit faster. Although, I'm kind of wondering, should I save some of my stamina in case any of those departed souls come? Because that could be a little bit of a problem. Huh? Okay, weird pop-up. You are safe from the Sphinx here. Um, I actually haven't seen a Sphinx yet, so great to know that I'm safe here, but I do feel a little bit worried now. <laughs> I don't feel better. Um, okay, I guess that's not the door I can go through, or maybe I need a different key, or... I don't know. Hmm. Um... Either I don't know how to use my key, or I <laughs> possibly need to find a different key. Is this one gonna work? Open up. Open. <laughs> I guess not. Okay, we'll have a look at our little map, see where we are, and okay, this whole middle bit here, like, what is happening? <laughs> what do the question marks mean? <laughs> Ooh, hey, this looks promising. That looks like a giant lock, and I have a giant key. Okay, success. Looks like we've got a whole new area open to... Okay, what's this? Okay, that seems to be the Sphinx, and they look... Yeah, they look angry. Um... You shouldn't have come down here. You've awoken the curse. Could the curse go back to bed? I can foresee a new prophecy. Your death. Have another look. Are you sure? Maybe it's my new friend, Steph. Get out of there now. You reckon? Run. Okay, time to run. The safe, rooms. safe rooms. Don't let the see you. Okay, uh, just have a quick check on my map here. Okay, there's a lot of safe rooms. Um, I kind of have to find them pretty quickly. And oh my gosh, it's coming! Oh no, <laughs> the ground is shaking. It's gonna crush me. Oh no! Oh no! Oh dear! Oh yep. Okay, I've been finished. <laughs> Two lives left. Oh, I'm safe from the Sphinx here. Okay, cool. I'm in a little safe area apparently. Um, but I still gotta find those other keys, and I still gotta find the cabinet of souls. Now I've got a sphinx, um, to contend with, so that does make things a little bit more difficult. I really should not have opened that door. Nope. Oh, don't know what that's all about, but hmm. This is suddenly got a little bit more scary. <laughs> I feel like I can hear them. <laughs> yeah, I can hear those footsteps. Okay, I gotta get I gotta get into a safe area. Oh, here's something. I'm safe from the Sphinx here, and I've got another key. Okay, hopefully this key doesn't open up another door that just like releases another Sphinx or something, because I don't want to have to deal with two of those. Okay, according to the map, the other key should be just around the corner here. There we go, third key, let's get it. I wonder if all three of these keys open up different doors, or maybe one of them actually opens the Cabinet of Souls, which is still pretty exciting. Really want to find that. Oh, look at that door. It's got two locks, and I've got two keys. Okay, let's try this out. Does this work? Okay, yes. Awesome. Oh my gosh, it's them. What are they doing? You stop. Oh, nope, he disappeared. I am the Cabinet of Souls. I see all. I feel I am all. Dramatic. You fear for your lives. You've traveled so far in search of the road. Sure have. Help a gal out. I return the boy king to his rightful place in the afterlife. Oh my gosh, that's so nice. He'll be delighted. Time runs then. The darkness awaits you in the future. The truth will find you. Will it? Oh no. I transported the cabinet back to the ship. It belongs in the future. Okay, well, that's good at least. Transporting to London, England, late 1500s. What? We're leaving already? The rogue isn't far off. Well then, goodbye ancient Egypt and hello wormhole. All right, in we go. I'm starting to get used to this. London, 1599. Wow, what's it going to be like? Oh, it really smells like 1599 out here. Hey, I think the rogue's been here too. Why are there lights and... Televisions? This technology shouldn't exist in the 1500s. The rogue must be near. 
You can't stop. You won't stop. Okay, but what if we had a little bit of a chat? Because I'm kind of confused about your motivations. Look at the screens. Oh my gosh, they're trying to send us a message. Help me. Go to the Globe Theater? That's Shakespeare's Globe. Okay, no problem. And oh my gosh, there it is. It looks beautiful. The path to the Globe Theater is blocked. Pesky hay bales? There's another way in. Back door? The sewage. The sewage. Okay. Sure. It's always the sewage. Ooh. According to my report, mm-hmm. the smell in there is unbearable. Oh, it sure is. Better you than me. Okay, but you're a robot, so I kind of feel like, if anything, you probably should have been sent on this mission <laughs> if there was going to be a smell element. <laughs> so gross. Thank goodness there's all of these crates down here, though, because if I had to swim through this sewer, I think I would lose it. It's like, why am I even doing any of this? Like, is this my job? Am I like a time officer or something? Like, am I on shift right now? Am I getting overtime? I need to talk to my union. I didn't know I was going to have to go into a sewer. Okay, unexpected. I've been to Shakespeare's Globe and it did not look like this. Okay, someone's on stage. <gasps> It's a trap. Bill? Get out of here. What are you doing here? The future is changing. The Paradox machine is overloading. <laughs> Humans, go to the... The what? The what? Witchcraft. Witchcraft? You think you can stop me? Yes. Sent here from the future to yes. save the past. Yes. I think not. Really? Defeat the devil. Okay, Billy, I'll try my best. The world is wrong. A lie. A performance. Time to end the shuri. I need more info. No time for explanations, apparently. Fear my robotic creatures. Okay, show us your robots. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I'm afraid. Yeah, I fear them. They're like freaky little robot spiders. Yeah, no, I don't love this. <laughs> oh no, they're going to try to eat me. I need to get to the rogue. Ooh, attack one of the generators. That's a bit exciting. Okay, is this a generator? Guess I'll just smack it. Oh. My arrow's pointing this way. Is this a generator? What's a generator? Oh yeah, here we go. Smack this one. Okay, I'm gonna shut down your source of power. Wait, why is William Shakespeare here if it's the 1800s? Makes no sense. Okay, get him. Get him. I shall become a god. Really? That's the goal? Okay. Spicy goal. Ouch! Oh no, I'm getting eaten by spiders. <laughs> All right, rogue. I'm ready this time. Okay, maybe I'm not ready this time. These spiders are really quick. Ah! Gosh. There's so many of them. Oh, attack one of the generators. Okay, I'll get this one this time. Get the rogue nice and vulnerable. I'm really gonna need an explanation though at the end of this. Like I worked really, really hard to try to sort out these various timelines and difficulties. So I'm just gonna attack some more of this generator. Oh, the rogue is vulnerable. It's my time to strike. Let Shakespeare go. You shall not defeat me. Okay, what if we went for a nice lunch together instead? Or should I just keep trying to destroy your robots? Okay, I'll just keep on the robot destruction. Because they are trying to attack me. So, you know, this is all just self-defense. Ooh, time to attack the generators! Okay, maybe this time it'll work. The rogue is vulnerable. Let's get in. Why do you hate classic Stop. literature? You can't win. You sure? You can't survive. Yeah, sure? No. Think I might have. They showed me the truth of all things. This world, you and me, everything around us, it's not real. Come again? We exist only in data. What do you mean? So none of this is real? Everything I'm seeing is... Oh my gosh. All the world's a stage. And us just play us. You did it. Did I? The future is saved. Oh, amazing. We're all so proud of you. Cute. You return home Wow, oh, love that. So that stuff he said about nothing being real. Thoughts? The future is safe once more. Heroes of time, you will always be remembered. I have questions. As a token of our gratitude. Questions? We present a gift. <gasps> a gift? Okay, never mind. Never, no questions. You will live on forever inside our hearts, our minds, and our universe. The metaverse. Okay, so is that the Prezi? Because I was kind of thinking that it might be like chalky or something. You know what? That's fine. The, the metaverse is great. Um, thanks so much.